Hello, Jervis. James, what an unexpected pleasure. Someone else is infected with your sister's blood. You don't say. And I've been thinking it's possible she infected them accidentally. Yes, possible. Possible. But your reaction tells me you knew. So, you infected them after you stole your sister's blood. But you stayed quiet, waiting for them to show symptoms. <laughs> well, that would be darn sneaky, I think, wouldn't it? I need the name. <laughs> you need the name. So, I've been quiet about it all this time, and now I'm going to help you because we're such good friends. Because I can make your life here very uncomfortable. More uncomfortable than having Captain Barnes next door screaming guilty all hours of the night? Give me the name! Oh, James. I would love to see what Alice's fires would do to you. The beast in you is right there. So desperate to get out. And I know of whom you speak. Oh, yes, indeed. I stabbed him and pricked him and caused him to bleed. But nothing you can say, no words you might possess can pry for me the smallest guess. For this game is my game! I say when it's done. And right now I'm having too much fun. You wanna play a game, Jervis? Fine, let's play a game. Whoever you infected has some sort of plan. I want you to tell me the name of this man. Well, James, I have to give that effort an F. And can you really imagine that? Two are dead. More may die soon. This isn't a game. Give me his name. You'll only know his name when it's too late, when the one you love has been murdered by hate.